Hi, so here's the collection of super useful scripts and plugins in After Effects for all occasions. I will briefly explain why each of them is needed and you choose the most suitable for your workflow. Okay, let's start with the group of plugins useful for everyone. ZL explodes shape layers. It disassembles and groups shape layers that were created, for example, in Illustrator and remove the artboard that often gets in the way. Reposition Anchor Point, a very simple script that gives you one handy function. Move the anchor point to one of the object's corners or to the center. You simply select all the objects whose anchor points you want to move and click Move. Flow, a script that allows you to conveniently manipulate velocity and value graphs. In addition, it has many animation presets. Motion, this plugin used by many motion designers. It has all of the above and about 50 built-in scripts that let you make animation moves and tricks with a single click. For example, group animations of multiple layers under a single slider or add some rudimentary physics to a scene. There's even a feature that cleans up the project and groups all the sources into separate folders. Overload, a kind of data teleporter between After Effects and Illustrator. With one button, it transfers all the shapes to After Effects and you don't need to save any additional files. You can also send the vector back if needed. Next, group simple plugins with visual effects. Form, particular, stardust, three effects that work differently with particles. You can make falling snow, spinning swirls, something that looks like a haze, or a logo flying around in tiny dots. Stardust has a node system, and so it's easy for people with a penchant for visual programming to find common ground with it. Element 3D, the number one plugin for those who want to work with 3D objects in After Effects without using third-party programs. Can turn any text layer into 3D text, works with ready-made 3D files, and also has a set of objects that allows you, for example, to assemble a huge three-dimensional city and make the fly over the camera on it, and it will take you no more than half an hour, including the render optical flares. This is a large base of customizable highlights, flares and overlights. It is often used to bring parallax or video to life by adding place of light and glare. Deep glow and vibrance. Two plugins that allow you to add glow effects to your objects. And there are three more complex visual effects for those who have been working in After Effects for a long time. Slit scan makes the effect of lagging or freezing a line of pixels. After Effects Pixel Sorter, the effect of pixel stacking on contrasting area. Lockdown allows you to attach a texture to a heterogeneous and non-uniform moving object quite well. Next group scripts needed primarily for character animation. Limber, designed to create limbs very quickly. Arms, legs, fingers, or for example the legs of a spider. Primarily used to create limbs with angular joints, elbows and knees. Rubber horse. This script makes classic Disney sausage arms and sausage legs that have no elbows and stretch perfectly. Character tool. The mechanics are closer to rubber hose. In addition, the script has a bunch of other small but useful functions. Duik, the number one script for character animators. It's not very user-friendly, but that's probably due to a large number of feature in it. It's a whole system for producing characters with arms, legs, spines and tails. It has an ever-expanding list of animation presets. Just look at the gate cycle button which makes your puppet stride, usually takes animators at least half a day. Or the key cleaner, which optimizes the animation and allows you to add easing and overshoots to it. The script is constantly evolving and it is free. Wow! Newton, a plugin that adds physics to projects. If, for example, you don't want to deal with graphs and think 
how a ball should bounce or you need to make 100 balls fall and feel the logo. A couple of years ago, Apple made an entire video on this plugin. In short, the plugin allows you to connect objects with invisible springs to each other, throw them down and enjoy how physics does everything for you. RD Comp Center, a whole group of scripts that make your work easier. For example, RD Comp Center allows you to change the parameters of all the selected comps, change their resolution or frame rate. About 50 scripts for all occasions. Rift. In a couple of clicks you can arrange layers and keys in the compositions, whatever you like. Line them up by CTI or, on the contrary, make them chaotic. In projects where, for example, you need to make a shift in one frame in 100 layers, but the animation should end at a certain second, it is an indispensable helper. Declutter. It is very simple. The script brings order to the project, creates folders and sort all project's elements. Helps when working with other people's projects. And in the end, remember these three render manager plugins for advanced users who felt the lack of the settings and codecs in Media Encoder. If you're looking for great and unique music for your videos, visit takedowns.com you'll find tons of awesome music and each track has 15, 30 and 60 second versions as well as loops, which is super convenient. Also make sure to check out our cool video effects.